All right, I'm going to do the narration for Dorian since he's asleep. He says he quite liked this shirt. It's very soft, very cool, uh, not too short, not too long, just right. Very comfortable. Better quality than he expected. He's just showing that it's not too short when he raises his arms up, basically. Um, this one you can't see too clearly, but it's awesome little teddy bear on it. Um, that's more of a fabric shirt than the other ones. The other ones are more spandexy, and he quite likes this one. It's also pretty well fitting, not too big, not too small. This one, he says, was very tight. It's not tied around the body, it's tied around the neck. He says it felt like it was choking him and it would probably look better with a hoodie on. It doesn't raise up very much. He says he felt like a superhero. <laughs> That's his favorite shirt out of all of them. He loves it. <laughs> uh, it raises up just a wee bit, but he says that, I guess he just loves the grumpy cat. It is his favorite out of all the shirts. <laughs> uh, that's his hoodie. He loves the hoodie. He says it's warm, very, very, very soft inside. Sleeves are the perfect length. Hood is the perfect length. Not too big, not too small. Just right. Has pockets. He loves pockets. This was Logan's, and it's too small for Logan. As you can see, it looks like it's perfectly fitted for Dorian. He does not like it because he says it's too preppy for him. The sleeves are almost too short. That came, that's an XL and it fit Dorian a bit too much. He hates it. These are my boots. This is just a quickie video of me walking and showing the boots. Um, they're pretty good quality. Some of the red underneath isn't so hot, but as you can see when I'm walking, it's not really a big deal. These boots are very striking. The red just makes such a difference. The toes are a little pinchy, but not much. Um, all in all, the boot's pretty fucking good quality considering it was like 30 bucks. Selfie stuck. They do zip all the way up, I just didn't do it for the video. This shirt is my favorite shirt out of all the shirts. Uh, Logan originally found it, was going to buy it for him, but then he let me have it. It's got all the horror movie monsters, pretty good quality. Um, the print is not faded at all. The print is pretty crisp, pretty nice. I really, really, really am impressed with this shirt. I've worn it like three times already. The shirts are made kind of spandexy, which sucks, but the print's good. This is my replacement white wig. Shook my head to see how it moves. It's a bit curly at the bottom, which I don't really like, but it's really soft. It's got a lot of hair. I did not put a wig cap on or tuck all my hair in, um, so you can still see my hair. I would put it on better if I was, you know, putting it on properly, but this is just a quickie video to show the wig. Uh, it is actually better quality than the white wig that I already have. It's um, it's supposed to be silver, but it looks more white than silver, but it's still a really, really, really nice wig. I'm just really happy to have a replacement. I fucking love this wig so much. It's a beautiful rainbow wig. Again, I didn't put it on properly. I just kind of threw it on quickly. It's got so many different colors in it. I love the way the colors are blended. I would still go out in public wearing this wig. It is like my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. I wasn't sure how I'd look with rainbow hair because I'm not a rainbow kind of person, but kind of person, but I am seriously impressed with this wig. It's thick. It's got lots of hair. When my hair is tucked in properly, you cannot see my real hair. It's just beautiful. It's got so many colors mixed in. The camera doesn't really show it as well as the colors actually are. It is so vibrant. It is just so, so nice. I could sit there and just play with it all day. Sorry, you probably hear the fan in the background. I hate 
the fan on this laptop so much, um, so please try to ignore it. I just want to touch the wig. <laughs> um, this is a knockoff dress. It's also spandexy. Um, it's a bit too big for me, and so therefore it makes me look quite chunky. It's very long, either that or I'm just really short. But, um, yeah, I think it would look better if it was more form-fitting. There's nothing wrong with the dress itself. It's just a bit big for me. I wanted to be safe because I knew it would be spandexy material. And um, I ordered it just a tiny bit big because of that. But I think I messed up because um, I got it a little too big. It could have done with um, being shorter. So I'm just trying to show the neckline here. It's really soft. I just really wish that it was smaller. Quite disappointed. But it's not their fault. Again, it's my fault for ordering it bigger than I needed out of fear. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Matches the shoes, though. Red and black. The dress is actually quite vibrant. It just doesn't look like it on camera. This dress is really pretty, and again, it's another one that I ordered too big, and so therefore it makes me look like I've put on a lot more weight than I have. Um, it makes your tits look huge because of the way the top is. When I got it, the straps at the front were broken, so I had to try to sew and sew them on. Uh, the dress is really good quality. The material is better than the red dress I have with bats, so showing how big it is, like, it's it's really loose. There's, I can grab handfuls at the sides. Um, but yeah, the, the dress is great quality, amazing quality. With a petticoat underneath, it would look pretty good. Um, I was really, really impressed with it. I'm just not impressed with the way it looks on me because it makes me look really fat because there is a lot of fabric around it. Uh, again, showing the neckline the way it goes and it lets the boobs poke out also gives the illusion of your boobs being much bigger than they are because as we all know I no longer have tits <laughs> but it's a beautiful dress really beautiful it's just quite shapeless because of the fact that I got it so much bigger it's got a nice big skirt to it this oh I do not like this um, I love the corset but because I cinch it in the back and I can tie it almost all the way up it opens in the front and belly skin hangs out. There's absolutely nothing I could do to close that off. Um, I'm afraid to tie it tighter at the bottom because I don't want to tear it, but it could go much tighter than what I actually have it. I could tie this thing all the way up without issue. I'm just worried because the material doesn't feel as thick as the other corsets. Um, and so I just didn't want to risk it. And as you can see, the front of it, the way that it gapes open, there's nothing I can do to close it, it's not like I'm forcing it open, I'm quite disappointed with that, I hate it, if it closed up it would be a lot better, so I'm going to have to figure something else out there. This hair is awesome, this is actually a dress, so I have another video after showing how it's supposed to look, I thought it was a top, but it's not. You can zip it up, and it's a huge pocket on the inside. It's a hoodie dress, and it is crazy comfortable. Nice long sleeves. There's the hood there. Love this thing so much. Can't wait to wear it out. And so here it is, the way it's supposed to be worn. Um, don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Fixing my hair, because it got the hood on. As you can tell, I didn't pre-watch these videos. But um, yeah, so it's... A mini dress. I'm not sure how I would wear it, uh, if I'd wear it as a dress or if I would wear it as just a hoodie. I think it's a little short right now to be worn as a dress. I'd feel like I was missing something, so I don't think I'm brave enough to wear it like this. Love the zipper. <laughs> Such a deep pocket, but if you put anything bulky in there, it's just going to make you look fat. Pause. I had to pause to zip it up. I needed two hands, but zipper gets caught sometimes, but it's still really, really awesome. I love this thing. I think it's very, very eye-catching. Excuse the angles of my face. When I show from underneath my chin, of course, my face looks very, very fat. 
but um, on the back it's kind of short. And from the front, I don't know, it's just a beautiful top, soft, very, very well made. The print's not going to fade or come off, it's just awesome. I just don't know if I like it better open or closed. I like the way it's made red and black on the inside so it looks like a mouth, which is quite cute. Still figuring out how I want to wear it, but I don't care if it's emo, I love it. This is a cute beanie that I got. Um, it's got wobbly eyes. Not wobbly, they don't move, but it's like goofy eyes and a little mouth. Um, I just, I don't know, just wanted a hat. <laughs> I think it's cute. Okay, these are Logan's shirts. Um, he did not want to wear them for the review video because he's put on a little bit of weight and they are a little bit tight and he's self-conscious about his chest and his tummy. So I will just show the shirts as they are. First you've got this really awesome color splash shirt. Um, colors are nice and vibrant. It's pretty eye-catching. I really like this shirt. Then we've got this cookie banana shirt. He wanted some really weird looking t-shirts. So this is kind of tie-dye, which he loves tie-dye. And it's got this kind of faded banana print. I don't know if it's faded because it's supposed to be faded because it's all like tie-dye psychedelic in the background, or if it's faded because the print is a bit too big for the shirt. But from a distance, it's still a pretty eye-catching and cool shirt. Then he... He got this cockroach shirt. He would totally do this. And it's got an all over print on the back. It's just more of the kitchen. And it's this really gross cockroach with um, what looks to be a chicken wing and a can of beer. And see, this is the other side of it, which is just the rest of the kitchen. And then we've got this really beautiful shirt here. This is gorgeous. It's just the night sky. It's an all over print. So it's like that on the back as well. Really, really, really nice. I love this shirt. This is my second favorite of his shirts. He also got the jacket that Dorian was wearing, but it was way too small as you can tell because it actually fits Dorian. So that's one less. And lastly, he got this shirt, which is my number one favorite of his shirts. And it's just a really interesting very actually high quality prints of an eye and a bird and some writing and it's like this on the other side as well this print is really really nice it's not stretched it's not faded it's just a very very cool looking shirt and i think that if he were wearing this down the street this would be quite eye-catching i am a huge huge fan of this shirt and I can't wait until he wears it. So yeah.